Everybody who normally associates a van with being a log burner, a diesel powered vehicle. Unfortunately, not in this case. So originally it started off as a 204 TSI petrol DSG seven speed combi van. That's what it started off like as. Twin sliding door, sunroof, that was it. I had a 2.5 transporter, the diesel one, and we had, obviously with the support from Revo, we had 300 horsepower out from that. And this was before the transporter world got really, really big. So that was what started it. And then obviously I'd made the change from diesel across to petrol, because obviously with the tuning capacity with the diesel, petrol's a lot more user-friendly. Um, we thought, let's do it. I was messing around with vans, way, way, way before any ECU tuning was even possible. So it's something that we've just moved with the times, adapted, and this van is the proof of what can be done. Obviously the turbo that's on the, on the van is no good. It needs to be changed. You need to, it needs to have a hybrid of sorts on it. Uh, it needs uh, different induction. You can use the stock box, but you, all the pipe work needs to be changed. All the exhaust has to be custom fabricated. Uh, from the header right the way back. Um, it needs a large intercooler and it needs some software. The only way I can describe it, if you had a 1.4 Golf and then you jump straight into a Golf R, that is the difference. It is night and day different. In theory, you could do this to a 150 PS manual transporter as well. Obviously, you would need to change the clutch. This particular gearbox that's in this van the derivative is DQ500, so it originally started off life in an RS3 and a TTRS. So we all know how, how much power those gearboxes can take, hence why I went with the DSG because I knew it would be able to take the power. Currently, stock. Stock engine internals. Um, with a lot of research and quite a lot of investigation, we know that this engine will take just shy of 500 horsepower reliably obviously yeah obviously with the extra power you need to be able to stop it uh, we've obviously opted for the six pot alcon 380 mil revo brake big, big brake kit and we're currently developing in-house a rear brake kit suspension wise currently it runs kw variant threes so we have full bump compression and rebound settings as well so we've got full adjustability um, obviously which makes a vehicle that's rather large turned into something that's quite nimble. Behind the bumper we have the front mount intercooler which was supplied by Forge UK. Uh, we went with the Forge one because back to back comparisons we found that the uh, Forge interco intercooler was the most efficient and kept the intake temperatures down to a very decent level. Um, in here we've also used the forged uprated silicon hoses right the way through. Full custom intake and obviously a larger turbo at the back. Yeah, I mean, obviously, yes, I'd had a lot of inquiries about people asking me, you know, what are you going to do? Are you going to do this? Are you going to do that? And we've put the package together. The van's currently done four track days um, in current livery, and it's also been in the normal black when we first acquired it in stage two form. So it's done, yeah, a fair few track days, semi-slick tyres. And I must admit, if, you've, if you go to a track and you've got a wet day, it's quite handy because you can have a spare set of wheels in the back with wets on it. You've got slicks, semi-slicks, you've got everything that you need in the back of the van. And if it rains, you can sit in the back of it as well. So yeah, it's, it is very versatile. So yeah, it's, it's a fast van. It's a great weapon around a track. It makes a lot of people take a lot of notice. But my primary use for it is to ferry myself, my wife, my children, my dogs, and my push bikes around.